Welcome to the mega technical support videos, frequently asked questions. In this session, we are going to see how to install the drivers for the Delta 4000, the MTO, and the MWA using PowerDB release 11.2.9.0. Normally, the drivers for these instruments will be installed after the PowerDB installation process is completed. So a second instance or a continuation of the installation process will show up. And um, in this screen, I'm showing how that looks. Once PowerDB completes the installation, you will get this uh, additional instance of adding uh, the drivers and if for any reason these ones are not installed you decide not to install them at this moment or uh, something happens to the drivers and you need to run the installation again uh, well you have two options you can run PowerDB installation completely uh, again and reinstall and fix or repair the installation or you can go and look for those drivers individually and, uh, and run them uh, separately and, and get all of them installed. So in the following screens, we're going to see how to do that. Once PowerDB is installed, it doesn't matter if you uh, selected to add the drivers or, or not. The, all of the installers for the drivers will be copied into your computer. So all of these drivers or uh, installers will be under this directory, C, Program Files, x86, PowerDB Inc. So if you go to that folder, you're going to see several subfolders there. And there's one that it's called PDB Optional Files. If you go inside those uh, that folder, you're going to see that there's a, a folder for Delta, a folder for the MTO and MTO setup, and the MWA. So we're going to see how to install each of those individually. For the Delta, then you want to go into that folder, and there it's very straightforward. You have the Delta Control Installer. Uh, version 2.0.8 you just need to run the installer and um, it will complete very very quickly and we'll have several prompts there to complete the installation for the MTO you have uh, two folders here the one that you need to use is the MTO setup oh double clicking there if you have previously installed uh, PowerDB several times, then you might have uh, several release versions like I do have here. Uh, for the time being, the latest uh, update is uh, the one from 2018, uh, August uh, of 2018, and you want to run the installation of the update. So basically, or the easiest thing to do is to organize the files uh, in descending order from uh, by date and uh, you look for the newest file there and uh, the one that has the update uh, indication there for the MWA uh, uh, it's a little bit different uh, there's uh, more things to consider here or basically three different installations. Uh, this is because depending on the date of manufacture of your MWA, you may have uh, uh, different uh, drivers. So um, in general terms, you need to run an installation from each of these folders here. Uh, so once you are inside the MWA, you get these three options. Uh, the first one, the CDM, it's pretty straightforward. You run the installation for these, follow the prompts. Once that is completed, you can go back and then go into the Ethernet drivers. 
and here you will select the driver that corresponds to the operating system that you have. So for Windows 10, for example, you open that file and you scroll all the way down and you will see the installer here. Uh, you can run the installer from here or also from this uh, other executable or from this one. The three of them will, will work for the installation. And uh, going back again to the main three options, then uh, there's one more to do. Uh, this is also some Ethernet drivers, depending on the age of the instrument. And, uh, well, you will see here your operating system. I'm selecting this one. And in this case, for example, you need to go into both folders and uh, run the installation for each uh, of uh, those uh, two drivers here, two folders. You go inside the folder and you look for the executable or the setup file and you run the installation from there. Thanks for watching the technical support videos from Megger.